Assalamu alaikum guys. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to feel prettier in the hijab. I'm currently on a walk right now because I already started my 75 hard. And if you don't know, I basically have to do two workouts a day. One of them has to be outdoors. So I'm getting my steps in. Nonetheless, though, I'm here to fill you guys in on all the tea, all the tips and tricks that I have practiced over the last year and a half of being a hijab that has led to me feeling more confident in the hijab. I felt like this was a really important video for me to make because in a world where nudity equals beauty, it can be really hard to actually feel confident and to feel pretty wearing the hijab and being fully covered. I also want to slip in a disclaimer before I start this video. If you are someone that is more conservative, aka the way that you practice wearing your hijab is not wearing makeup, not wearing too many colors, things like that, if you're on the more conservative side, then this video is not for you. Um, but if you're like me, where your main focus is covering up your skin and covering up your hair, then this video can be perfect for you. I'm really excited to get into it, so let's get started. So the first tip I have to feel prettier in your hijab is to wear colors that actually complement your complexion. This is such a life hack because literally framing your face in the proper color can illuminate your face, can make you look more awake, can make you look so much better. So the first tip I have is to definitely try to find colors that actually flatter you and try to wear those colors as much as you can. A lot of people get the color analysis. I have personally never got a color analysis done, but I know that there are different filters on social media, like on TikTok, that can help you to determine like what colors you think will look the best on you. According to those filters, I'm apparently like a winter color shade. So like those deep colors, like those violets and those navies, as well as some of those pastel-y colors, like for example, like this color hijab, apparently look good on me but something that i find very interesting about that is if you dress according to like colors that make you feel good for that day then it usually ends up making you look better if that makes sense or for example if you're not feeling that good on a certain day there are certain colors that apparently look good on everyone such as different shades of reds different shades of blues especially like a navy blue or even a light blue like this color and different shades of reds, like the solid red color, as well as like a burgundy that also looks really good on people. And I encourage you that if you want to feel pretty in your hijab, maybe just try to experiment with different hijab colors because that can end up making you feel prettier, more confident, just seeing the way that the different colors illuminate your complexion. Another thing that you could do is to wear different patterns and multicolored things that just make you feel more confident and that also have colors that complement your complexion. I think this is why the modal hijabs have been trending so much because wearing a different selection of colors and shades that actually complement your complexion can make you look so pretty, so bright, and just so vibrant. So that is my first tip. Find your colors, wear your colors, and stick to them. If you're feeling down some days, then wear colors that brighten you up. And yeah, just wearing flattering colors is such a life hack and feeling prettier in the hijab. The next tip that I have for feeling prettier in the hijab is to actually wear flattering silhouettes. I don't want this to be taken the wrong way because I know that we are to wear loose fitting clothes that, you know, don't accentuate our bodies too much. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is create different shapes with your outfit that are flattering. I'm going to leave pictures of times where I feel like I did this with my outfits and it looks really good. I still try my best at upholding modesty. The thing that I like to keep in mind when I'm creating different outfits is balance. It's kind of feeding off of that like little top big bottom outfit or little bottom big top outfit kind of idea where you just want to have balance in the outfit. You don't want to have something that is completely unflattering, but you don't want to have something that is like too tight and too revealing. What I like to do to kind of have a better silhouette in my outfits is I basically have a selection of basics that I always wear and that I can always grab that I know look good on me. For me, this includes the long straight skirts with a little tighter fitting um, shirt as well as dresses like the one I have on today where it's basically long, loose, and kind of straight. 
But with the way that my body is shaped, it naturally looks balanced. I like to find my inspiration, of course, from like Pinterest and different things online for creating flattering silhouettes when I am creating my outfits. Um, I try my best to make good outfits, so if you want to look for modest fashion inspiration, you guys can follow me on TikTok. But it's also a really good rule of thumb to just find people online that inspire you in order to help you to create these flattering silhouettes while still upholding like the principles of modesty. And my last tip of the things that you can do to physically feel prettier in the hijab is to take good care of your skin and of course to wear makeup that flatters you. Good skin is going to look good regardless of what kind of makeup you're wearing, how much makeup you're wearing, or anything regarding what you're wearing. So it's always a good rule of thumb to try to take care of your skin. Of course you want to wash your face in the morning and at night you want to don't want to sleep in makeup. And I feel like the glowy, hydrated, youthful look is super flattering on most people. So always try to take care of your skin. Always try to make sure that you look good. And then as far as makeup, the rule that I like to go by by my face shape is flattering my eyes as well as keeping blush on. I feel like that is what helps me feel pretty regardless. As long as I know that my eyes look good and I just look kind of like blushed, I feel like that looks super attractive for me. It's really important to find which makeup works for your face type and what makes you feel the prettiest. A good rule of thumb that I know is to accentuate your most obvious feature. Even if it's something that you're not super comfortable with, for example, if you're not super comfortable with the size of your eyes, if you have really big eyes, it's best for you to bring out the features that are most prominent on your face because it shows that you're like embracing your unique features and it makes you look more beautiful. So those are the main physical things that I wanted to talk about for how to feel prettier and hijab. So those three tips were the more physical aspects of it. Now I'm going to talk about how you can feel more beautiful and more pretty on the inside. One of the best things that you can do to feel more beautiful is to actually do good deeds. This includes smiling at people, doing nice things for people, reaching out to people that you haven't connected with, and just letting them know that you're thinking about them, saving insects or helping animals, things like that. If you show yourself what a good person you are and what a good heart that you have, it can help you to feel more beautiful because you know your essence more than anyone. And you want to be beautiful not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. We didn't put on the hijab to try to look more beautiful. We put on the hijab to show that we're representatives of Islam and that we just try our best to be the best that we can be, right? So while it is human nature to want to look good and to want to be attractive, we have to remember why we're here in this world and we're here in this world to get to heaven, right? So you want to try your best to do good things genuinely so that you know that you're a good person and you know that you're good regardless of what's on the outside. What's on the outside should just be the icing on the cake. So you want to focus on actually being the person that is beautiful, that does do the things that are good and that people know just like has a beautiful soul regardless of what you look like. I just want to close out with a message to just remember what a gift you have. Remember the gift of life that God gave you and the gift that you have every single day to get up and to try to be the best you. Don't become overly obsessive with the way that you look. I know that it's a factor and it's human nature to care about the way that you look. But just to remember, like, it matters more, more what's on the inside. Yes, having that outward appearance, looking neat, looking nice can get you in a lot of rooms, can get you in a lot of doors, but what's going to get you into heaven? The most important door that you want to get into, you know? I just want to tell you that you are beautiful, and it is beautiful that you're wearing the hijab, or if you're thinking about trying, it is beautiful that you're caring about these things, and you are pretty, you are beautiful, regardless of what society tells you is beautiful. I want you to know and believe that you are beautiful just the way you are and that you're doing a beautiful thing by trying to uphold your beliefs, uphold your religion through the way that you look and inshallah may you be rewarded for it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. 
I know it's like kind of random. I'm just walking around. Um, so thanks for staying tuned with me. Um, inshallah, I do want to share more about my 75 hard journey, but I'm just out here walking right now. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this because I feel like in this world, in today's world where immodesty is so highly praised, a lot of people can end up feeling unattractive and just like lower than the expectation just because we want to cover our skin. So I just wanted to get up here and tell you guys that you are beautiful and that there are ways that you can start to feel prettier. It just may take more effort, especially considering if you want to be fully covered, but there are resources for you. There's inspiration you can get. There's colors you can wear. There's different ways you can take care of your yourself to really bring out the noor, to bring out the light that's within you. But yeah, that's all for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch up with you later. Asalaamu